Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This video is a quick guide to running multi-game discs on the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia. While some of these games work perfectly fine on this emulator, many of them such as the Dragon Ball Z Budokai collection will crash when selecting a game from the launcher. This issue occurs because the emulator is unable to switch from the launcher's XEX file to the game's XEX file, so we can solve this problem by extracting these XEX files and bypassing the launcher entirely. All you'll need is your game, and a program called Velocity which you'll find down in the description. Now before we get started, I'm assuming that your game data is in the ISO format. If you need to learn how to rip your discs or convert them from the games on demand format, check out my tutorial which is also down in the description. And if your game data is in the XEX format, then you're already a few steps ahead, so you can use the timestamps in the description to skip on ahead to locating your game's XEX file. To get started, open up Velocity and go up to File, Open, and ISO. Locate your ISO and select it. Once you do, all of the data files within it will populate in Velocity. Click on the Extract All Files button in the lower right corner, then make a new directory for these files wherever you keep your games. I'm just going to put this on my desktop for this video. Once the extraction is complete, open up the directory that you just created and you'll see the game's data files inside. If you try running this default.xex file in Xenia, the disk should load up just like the ISO. But just like the ISO, it'll freeze when you select what game you want to play. So instead of this file, you'll want to locate the file specific to the game that you want to run and use that instead. For example, if I want to play Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1, I'll go up to this dbz1 folder and launch the xex file in there. Just be aware that there's no convention for how this data is organized or labeled on the disk, so not all disks will be as easy to navigate as this one. The file that you want may be inside of the main directory, or a subdirectory, and it may be an XEX file, or it may be a generic file type with no extension, so it can take a bit of trial and error to find it, but by opening the files in Xenia, you should be able to find what you're looking for. So that should get your multi-game disks up and running in Xenia. Just keep in mind that not all games are playable on this emulator, so check out Xenia's compatibility page if you're wondering how a game will perform. If you need additional support, feel free to join my Discord channel. And if you like this video, give it a like and hit that subscribe button to keep seeing more from me in the future. And of course, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. 